2024 Honda CRV. Estimated price, starting around $30,000. Pros. Roomy interior with cavernous cargo capacity. Tech features are easy to use. Smooth and comfortable ride. Cons. Not much cabin storage space for small items. Hybrid powertrain can be noisy and slow on hills. What's new? No major changes expected for 2023. Part of the sixth CRV generation introduced for 2023. Honda redesigned its popular CRV just last year and we're not expecting much to change for the 2024 CRV. Last year's overhaul included a slightly lengthened wheelbase, which increased rear seat legroom as well as max cargo space a bit. The CRV provides more than 39 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind the rear seats, making it one of the most accommodating small SUVs for luggage and bulky items. A new infotainment interface and a smoother operating hybrid powertrain were also part of the updates. One of the more intriguing possibilities for the 2024 Honda CRV, however, is the addition of a fuel cell version powered by hydrogen fuel. Honda has confirmed plans for a new fuel cell vehicle based on the CRV, but whether it would slot into the CRV lineup or be a new vehicle altogether is unclear. In any case, for buyers interested in alternative fuel sources, a CRV or CRV like crossover powered by hydrogen makes an interesting option. Most likely, the 2024 Honda CRV will continue to offer plenty of appeal by way of its blend of comfort, tech, and practicality. Still, rivals such as the Kia Sportage and Mazda CX50 have closed the gap, and there's a good chance that Toyota will be redesigning its RAV4 soon too. The CRV is a benchmark for the class, although not necessarily a complete standout. Be sure to read our expert rating below to see if the newest generation CRV fits your needs. Performance 8.5/10 how does the CRV drive? The CRV is no track star, but it feels responsive and composed when compared with other small SUVs. The hybrid sport touring model we tested accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.0 seconds. That's typical for the class, and you can expect a similar time for the regular 1.5 liter engine. The brakes work well in emergency situations and make it easy to stop smoothly. We also like the hybrid system smooth operation in city driving, though climbing long mountain grades can take a heavy foot. Around corners, the CRV stays composed and under control. The responsive steering offers enough feedback to give you a good sense of what's happening on the road. Comfort 8.0-10 How comfortable is the CRV? The CRV rides well. Its suspension is soft without feeling floaty. You will feel bumps and cracks in the pavement, but it does a superb job of recovering quickly and returning to its normally smooth ride without too much intrusion. The sophisticated theme continues inside. The standard heated front seats feel plush and comfortable, though Honda still doesn't offer a ventilated option. You won't notice much noise from the road, the CRV is well insulated and feels airtight as you're driving. Our one objection is that the hybrid powertrain can get loud and unpleasant sounding, particularly if you're going up an incline. Interior 8.5-10 How's the interior? The inside of the CRV just makes sense. There is plenty of room in both rows, and large windows give you a sense of openness that we appreciate in a small SUV. All that glass also helps with outward visibility. It's harder to see out of the back, but the CRV has Honda's wide angle rear view camera that we really like. The CRV has big door openings, and all seats are positioned at the right height for adults to slide right in without much effort. It's also easy to get comfortable. The front row seats have a lot of adjustability for and aft, while the rear seat backs are adjustable for reclining. Technology 8.5/10 How's the tech? While a standard 7-inch touchscreen and optional 9-inch touchscreen are not exactly tops in the class, the CRV has an effective operating system that is responsive to the touch and easy to use. Wireless connectivity for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration is standard. The Sport Touring's integrated navigation system has basic-looking maps but otherwise provides helpful routing and guidance. The voice recognition system only comes on the top Sport Touring trim and, sadly, isn't as advanced as some competitors but the advanced driving aids are impressive. Loads of them come standard on all CRV models, and the main ones adaptive cruise control and lane centering steering, in particular work exceptionally well. Storage 8.0-10 How's the storage? The CRV has excellent cargo space for a small SUV, measuring 39.3 cubic feet behind the rear seats. While not especially deep, the cargo area has plenty of width and vertical height to help you fit bulky objects. Some great news, Unlike the previous generation, this version of the CRV offers the same cargo capacity for both hybrid and non hybrid models. You won't sacrifice storage in the name of better fuel economy. Unfortunately, 
Honda did take a step back with interior storage. The previous CRV had a highly configurable hollowed out center tunnel that could swallow up large handbags. Now that space has been reduced to a conventional center bin. In the second row, big door openings, easy to access attachment anchor points and lots of space make it easy to install child safety seats. Fuel economy. 7.5-10. How's the fuel economy? Non-hybrid versions of the Honda CRV top out at an EPA estimated 30 mpg combined. For more fuel savings, the hybrid is rated up to 40 mpg, with all-wheel drive that drops to 37 mpg. The latter is what we tested. On our real-world evaluation route, it averaged a disappointing 33.3 mpg. That said, it's a highway-biased route, and most of its rivals also underperformed in Edmunds testing. The Kia Sportage Hybrid got 34.5 mpg, for example. We saw better fuel economy in day-to-day -day driving around town where the CRV can better take advantage of its hybrid powertrain. Value. 7.5-10. Is the CRV a good value? The CRV is well put together for its price range. The lack of shakes and rattles indicates solid build quality, and it feels both smooth and quiet on the road. Now, there is a fair bit of hard plastic throughout the cabin, but Honda does well to mask it with soft surfaces and some interesting design elements. You will pay slightly more for a CRV than many of its competitors, so if you're looking for a cheap SUV, there are better options. Considering the robust construction we find the pricing agreeable, if not exactly enticing. Warranty coverage is only average for the class, with several rivals going a step further to protect from rust or offer better roadside assistance or complementary maintenance. Wildcard. 7.5-10. Crossovers aren't as drab as they used to be design-wise, and Honda has gone with a classy yet restrained style that leaves the CRV looking a bit generic by comparison. This SUV is about blending in, not standing out. Still, the new look definitely brings the CRV into a more modern era compared to its predecessor. It can be enjoyable to drive in spurts thanks to responsive controls and solid handling for a crossover. Practicality is first and foremost, however. As a result the CRV should be a hit for those who shop with an arsenal of Excel spreadsheets by their side. The rest of you should go elsewhere to find inspiration and passion in a small family SUV. Which CRV does Edmunds recommend? Honda hasn't released official information on the 2024 CRV as of this writing. We'll update our recommendation if anything changes, but based on last year's CRV, we'd opt for the XL. Compared to the X, the XL comes with leather seats, a larger touchscreen, a wireless phone charger, upgraded sound system, and front and rear parking sensors. It also comes with the 1.5-liter turbocharged engine, which we find is better to drive and nearly as efficient as the hybrid. Honda CRV Models Editors note, the following unofficial information is based on last year's CRV. We expect the 2024 model will have a similar lineup and we'll update this section once we have complete information. The Honda CRV is available in five trim levels LX, X, Sport, XL, and Sport Touring. Sport and Sport Touring models get the hybrid powertrain, while the LX, X, and XL come with the standard turbocharged gas engine. The first four trims are front wheel drive and offer optional all wheel drive while the Sport Touring comes with standard AWD. Keep reading for our breakdown of what you can expect from each trim. LX. Starts off the CRV lineup with. Turbocharged 1.5 liter 4 cylinder engine, 190 horsepower, 179 lbft of torque. Continuously variable transmission. 17 inch wheels. Push button start. LED headlights. 7 inch touch screen. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. 4-speaker sound system. The CRV also comes with these driver assist features. Forward collision warning with automatic braking, warns you of an impending collision and applies the brakes in certain scenarios. Lane keeping assistance, steers the CRV back into its lane if it begins to drift over the lane marker. Adaptive cruise control, maintains a driver set distance between the vehicle and the car in front. X. Adds more features such as. Sunroof. Heated side mirrors. Dual zone climate control. Heated front seats. Power adjustable driver's seat. Six speaker sound system. Sport. The Sport trim is the most affordable way to get into a hybrid powered CRV. It's equipped like the X, but with hybrid powertrain with 2.0 liter four cylinder engine, 204 HP, 247 lbft. Roof rails. Sport appearance package with darkened exterior elements. Leather wrapped steering wheel. Dual rear USB ports. XL. This trim is the best equipped CRV with the turbocharged engine. 
On top of the Exus features, it has front and rear parking sensors, power liftgate, leather upholstery, power adjustable front passenger seat, driver seat memory settings, 9 inch touchscreen, wireless connectivity for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, wireless smartphone charging pad, 8 speaker sound system, low speed automatic braking, automatically applies the brakes to avoid a collision when traveling between 1 and 6 miles per hour, sport touring. The fully loaded Sport Touring trim has the features of the XL, all-wheel drive, and the hybrid powertrain as standard. Honda also includes 19-inch gloss black wheels, hands-free liftgate, ambient cabin lighting, integrated navigation system, heated steering wheel, 12-speaker Bose premium audio system, blind spot warning with rear cross-traffic warning, alerts you if a vehicle is in your blind spot during a lane change or while in reverse.